Hello everybody and welcome to the Vector Sector. My name is Dan Grady and in this tutorial video quick tip, I'm going to be showing you a really neat time saving uh, technique. We're, I'm going to show you how to bring Adobe Photoshop's shape icons into Adobe Illustrator. Not as pixels, but as actual editable vector shapes. Now, some of you may be familiar with the uh, shape icons that are built into Photoshop. I'll show you how to access those. Let's go ahead and switch over to Adobe Photoshop. And for those who don't know how to access these shapes, I'll show you right now. Now we need to select the custom shape tool. Um, you can hit shortcut U to bring that up if you already have it selected, but I think by default in the tools panel, it'll be the rectangle tool. So if you hover over the rectangle tool and hold down uh, the mouse, a little flyout menu will come out where you could hit the custom shape tool. Now it's really important, up here in the control panel, you need to direct this to create a shape and not a path or pixels, but a shape. Okay, and now to the right over here, we'll see shape and another little flyout menu that will show all of Adobe Photoshop's shape icons, and there's a lot of them. Um, if you're only seeing a few, there's a little gear on the top right here. Make sure that it's um, displaying all. But if you want to, you could tell you could show it. Um, you could tell it to just show uh, these specific categories like animals, arrows, arti artistic textures. Um, but I'll just go ahead and select all, so you could see everything that's in here. Now we have uh, copyright signs, animals, arrows, hearts, a lot of really useful things. Um, I'm going to go ahead and select this little um, this heart shape right here and I'm going to shift drag that out onto my Photoshop canvas and you can see over here in the layers panel it is a shape layer um, hit command or control if you're on PC C to make a copy and now we'll go back over to Adobe Illustrator and I'm gonna find space to paste this hitting command or control V now make sure that fully editable compound shape is selected and here is our shape. Now a little earlier, I used this uh, outline to create this heart right here. Um, and that is, it's really, really simple to do. And as you can see, this is not um, pixels. It is um, an actual closed shape that could be edited. So I could give it a fill um, and I could also give it an outline as well. It also has anchor points so I can manipulate that this just like any other shape in Adobe Illustrator. Now you can see the different things that I that I uh, selected in Photoshop to create on um, this little cool stylized menagerie of animals here. Um, I also created a little male and female restroom signs here. Um, this can save a lot of time if you are creating a simple shape. Uh, I don't recommend just copying pasting and that being your final artwork. Um, it's always best to at least edit it a bit so it's your own. But using these uh, Photoshop shapes in Illustrator can save you a lot of time. And if you're working professionally, time is money. So anyways, I hope you've never seen that before and uh, it's a new thing to you. And um, I hope you'll use it a lot in the future and I hope it'll save you a lot of time. Enjoy um, looking over all the different uh, shapes in Photoshop um, and seeing what you could create in Illustrator. Thank you, bye-bye.